A long time ago, we had covered Codium AI, which is a video that I truly recommend that you watch with the link in the description below. It's an amazing coding tool. In a way, it's an open source copilot that competes against GitHub's copilot. This is a perfect tool for developers as you can complete any task end to end with the code generation feature. It not only generates code, but it helps with debugging, testing, and so much more. And now we have the first open source implementation of Meta's test gen large language model. This is where in February, Meta researchers published a research paper titled Automated Unit Test Improvement Using Large Language Models at Meta, which has introduced a tool that they call Test Gen Large Language Model. This is a fully automated approach to increasing test coverages with guaranteed assurance for improvement over the existing code base. Now, Meta didn't actually release the test gen large language model code, so the Codium team introduced their very own cover agent, which is an open source a tool, and it's something that you can take a look at. So watch this video, which will give you more information about it. Introducing Cover Agent, a new open source by Codium AI. Cover Agent is designed to increase your project's code coverage in seconds. Let's increase code coverage for this open source project called Autoscraper. After calling Cover Agent, you'll see tests being generated, integrated, and validated all without any human intervention. Cover Agent runs every generated test and retains it if the coverage improves. In less than 90 seconds, we enhanced our test suite, boosting coverage from 17% to 45%. Experience the new open source cover agent by Codium AI. But before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Velvet. Velvet is an AI powered SQL editor. It's super fast and it's a great way for you to query your production data. Query all your data in one place and ship real time product features. You can use the AI editor to make the data more accessible and interoperable. You can try Velvet for free by simply clicking on this button and then you will be then sent over to this dashboard where you can start querying your data, invite collaborators, or you can go through their docs. I'm currently in the Velvet workspace where I've already uploaded my database. I have already connected third party tools and events and you can see that it has also provided recommended queries at the top. And I can also even ask my own natural language query where I asked it, how many paying subscribers do I have? And we can see that it responds back with 18. Velvet will introspect on your data schema, write SQL, and return results. And you will be able to see this in the data table at the bottom, as well as through a chart, which will give you a good visualization. Now, I'm going to add a column to see what type of subscriptions my user has. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see that there's a different type of subscription tab, which has been created now. And now I can actually save this query so I can use it later. So you can then save this query, you can then head over to the saved queries, and then you can even export the table so that you can send it to a team member or for other external use cases. You can add your own remote database or even integrate third-party tools such as Stripe or Segment. To get started, head over to usevelvet.com as well as refer to their docs. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Now, isn't that amazing? This is the capability of Cover Agent, which is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Codium AI's new Cover Agent. This is an AI powered tool for automating text generation as well as code coverage enhancements. And this project has been focusing on the utilization of generative AI to automate and enhance the generation of code mostly. It's been aiming to streamline the development workflow. And with Cover Agent, you can run it with your terminal and you can even have it integrated with popular CLI platforms. Using AI to automatically create tests isn't something that's new. And this is where they basically developed this baseline criteria within this research paper, where they mentioned that AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, as well as CodeLama can write these tests, but developers can't often find a use case for these tests, or they basically find that the generation for the code doesn't add anything new. So to solve this problem, they basically introduced these two questions, which is going to give more constructive feedback on the generation. Firstly, we see that this is going to ask, does the test compile and run properly? Which basically means that does the test actually work? 
And secondly, it asks, does the test cover new code? So if this test doesn't meet these two criteria, it's not useful. And if it does not meet them, then we can check, is the test well written? If it's not, does the test actually add any sort of value? Sometimes code coverage numbers can be misleading. And if this is not the case, then we can ask it, does it meet any additional requirements that we may have? So these are some of the following steps that will ensure that the generate tests are useful and effective. And this is something that was introduced within Cover Agent, and it basically enhances the code generation as well as the text generation when you're using Codeon. Let's basically take a look at the approach and the results of test gen large language model. This is the architecture, and this is where we can see that it first starts off with the generation where the test gen large language model is going to create a large number of tests. From here, it filters through this pipeline and it removes the tests that don't compile, run, or pass. There's a coverage test which is going to discard these tests and it doesn't increase the code coverage. It's in this controlled environment where one of the four generated tests passes all the steps. So in real world use cases, only one out of the 20 tests will pass. There's also a component where there's going to be an integration of human review where after automated filtering, you can actually take further evaluations to see if the tests are applicable. So on average, one out of two tests are going to be accepted with the best use cases showing a 73% acceptance rate. Now you may be wondering, what are some real world use cases of this? Well, I want you to take a look at this video, which will go further in detail and showcase what you can do with it. Okay, so... Now, this is definitely a promising tool, but it also has its limitations. And I definitely recommend that you read through this blog post, which will go further in detail on the challenges that, are, that they're having. But in most cases, this is a powerful AI assistant. It's not currently fully automated, but it's something that will be useful to develop Cover Agent further, where developers can quickly generate useful test code, and they can basically increase their code coverage. This is something that they're going to keep on enhancing and you're going to be able to actually collaborate on this further on their github repository which i'll leave a link to in the description below as well as all the other things that i use in today's video this is something that will be eventually running automatically for pull requests suggesting validated regression tests and enhancement for automatically generating code so this is something that will be really really useful 
And that's basically it for today's video. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Patreon. This is a great way for you to access subscriptions, the AI tools completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.